Welcome back to Lake Lot Build. My name is John, and uh, <clears throat> I haven't been able to do a lot of the filming um, while I've been working here because the crew that I have working on the back deck is Amish, and I want to respect their privacy and the religion, and so I haven't been able to do much of the filming. We are to pour some concrete this morning, and so I got here early before anybody else got here so I could give you guys a little bit of a tour of what's been going on. So let's turn around and I'll walk you through some of the items. So if you remember on our last episode, I was working on this wood, and so since then, I have got everything sanded and stained, and to me, it just looks gorgeous. It looks so expensive. So, let's go down here and take a look. I've also did the surround on the garage door. I did a first coat of black. It's gonna be black, and so I had some black left over when I was painting inside there. So I put that on there so that it's easier to put the second coat on. And we gotta do the caulking and filling and all that for my screw holes and stuff. But let's go in here and take a look. Wood just turned out beautiful. I'll get up here close so you guys can see the plugs that I was talking about. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go. So yeah, I got the plugs put in and sanded them. And man, it really turned out, whoop, almost fell really turned out beautiful and my corner lined up straight and uh, I couldn't be happier okay so let's go over by the front door now <clears throat> and so over here by the front door same thing all the stain looks really good and then I put an extra trim piece around the front door I just thought it needed to be a little bit wider more I don't even know the, the right word I guess it's gonna be more I came up with the word stately I don't know if that's even if that's the right word or not but I wanted the door to be look a little bit bigger in that opening and so that's why I put the trim piece around it okay so now let's go over here to the garage the garage piece I put in and so um, it looks good as well We'll go up onto some detail here. So with the edge, with the buck that that sits right here, there is a screw flange that's right there. And then there's one that comes in here. And you can see it better as well up here. I missed it on that first one, so I'll have to fill that. But after that, I got it figured out. And so that is all screwed together. And that looks really good. Now, what's really exciting is we'll go back here on the back deck because I got my windows in. And of course, right now it's foggy out because it's really humid. But that's what the windows are going to look like. Let me scoot back here because it is so grand. But that is what it's going to look like. And I wish I had a squeegee. I'm going to go out there and squeegee those windows off. So now let's go outside and show you guys the deck that we're going to pour today. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God. Looks like I might have to top me some trees. I was hoping not to, but it looks like that guy and that guy and probably that guy. I want to save as many trees, but I have another two acres down here, so I have plenty of trees. I think I can either take those down or maybe see if I can figure out somebody to top them. Just take the top off of them so we can see. But let's go over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that you guys can see, I'll go over here on the edge. The deck. So this is a steel deck so we have the steel rim joist floor joist other rim joist columns and decking so we're going to pour concrete here and i'll be able to use my same railing system that i have up here on the roof and then over here in this area right here is where my spiral staircase is going to go 
and it's going to go up to my roof right there. And that's why that column hasn't been set right there because I didn't quite know where this guy was going to poke through. And so that one, that's why that one's left. Now I went ahead and welded that together just so if you're up there, you know, you have a railing on it. But we'll go back and I'll cut the 45s, make the post, and I'll cook it all together, make it all custom. So now let's go downstairs so you can see the lower deck and we'll look up underneath there and you can see how all this has been put together. Okay, I'm in the basement, coming out the door, and this is what the lower deck looks like. Oh my gosh. This can soak it up. All metal framing. And this is definitely not the light gauge stuff. Cause I moved it myself and oh my God, this stuff is so heavy. So we have our columns here and they're bolted there and there and we have them a double one. So there's one on each side. And then go over here. Come over here in the corner so you guys can get a better view. And that's how it's all attached. That column goes through all the way to the bottom. And let's see if I can lean out here and let you guys see. The columns here and there. So my pads down below, what we'll do is once we get done and the rim joist off and everything's cleaned up then we go back with the dirt and we'll take the dirt around each one of those and bring my freeze level up above the actual um, block there and so that's done just in case we have cold weather and there's any moisture in that soil I don't want that column or anything to rise and fall with any freeze or thaw so I'm gonna bring my frost line above that you guys can remember when we were pouring this wall we have all of these bolts that we set into the concrete. We had all the knockouts and we set those. And so now we were able to utilize all those, put the ridge beam up there, marked our holes, drilled the holes. And then we were able to use any sort of washers if the threads didn't go all the way down. And so like that one has like two or three, that one has like two, that one has like four. But that is an easy way to get that beam stuck against there, screwed on there tight. The back side of it is actually concrete where those knockouts are versus being against the styrofoam, which might allow it to have any bend or anything like that. So next today is going to be the pump truck and just one load of concrete and that will be our upper deck. We're going to pour the upper deck, let it sit and then it will be the lower deck and we'll, we'll pour that so we have two different pours the reason is is we don't want any drips on that so if that makes sense to you we don't want to pour this first and then have this drip fresh concrete on it so we'll pour the upper one first and then the lower one and these are a week apart so i have a special guest with me today and it's my next door neighbor Dottie. you want to say hi hi, hi. <laughs> so what do you think Dottie? This is pretty amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. It's really cool. Well, awesome. Well, as you can tell here, the concrete truck has arrived. Our pump truck is ready to go. The, uh, the Amish crew is going to be doing the uh, concrete work today. They are inside, so I was able to do a little bit of filming here. And so I'll lean it over here and let you guys see what we're going to be filming. Filming. Pouring today. And so right now I've made some uh, some little drip edges for my window that got installed because my siding uh, won't be here for a little while and so I made some makeshift drip edges to get over the window. So, well that sure looks good. So, right now we're going to back up to the concrete spin and we're getting ready to start pouring. I probably won't be able to actually film the pouring because the guys are going to see them. But when they're done, I'll be able to uh, show you everything. So, 
Okay, I'm downstairs here right now. The guys are all upstairs, so I thought I'd show you real quick. This is a pretty standard, straightforward uh, concrete pour for flat work. And um, I'll start down here. This is going to be on a 6x6 six six just mesh. Step out here. Pretty straightforward. The columns go down below, and of course they go on up to the top there and so that's pretty straightforward we've combed in uh, the places for the drains to go in the windows have the uh, visqueen on them so that we don't get splatter things like that so right now we're just waiting on concrete so kind of uh, bittersweet that this is the last concrete pour that this is it for David but um, I still have the driveway to pour so maybe we'll have him come back and do that I haven't quite decided if we want to do concrete or asphalt or maybe even brick so here we go well it is a nice rainy day and but we have poured the upper deck and the lower deck now um, that was done a few days ago and I'm sorry I couldn't film the actual pour because of the crew that was here it was Amish and uh, we want to make sure to um, be considerate to them and uh, not upset them but they did a wonderful job so further ado let's take a look because I am standing on the deck back here in the back so I'm going to turn around and uh, we'll go through it and uh, I just met with our siding people and uh, so I'm going to turn around and we'll go over a couple of things. My, uh, my makeshift drip edge will no longer be there. And uh, so we have the drips that are there. Of course, it, and right now it goes in between the concrete and the wall and goes down below. But with all the flashing and the guttering and the siding, we'll eliminate all that. But let me get over here in the corner and show you guys. Let me get here to the edge, but not too close to the edge because I don't have a railing on it yet, of course. Okay, let me stand against the wall. Here we go. So that is it. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. So you can see the rain is right over there. So I'm going to try to do as much work as possible before it gets here today. Um, but we're scheduled for even more rain. So I don't know how much work I'm going to get done. So let's look at the lower deck. And that is the lower deck as well. And it is done. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you everything from downstairs. Okay, I'm downstairs now. We're going to walk out the back door. So let's open the back door because it's already set. And let's walk out the back deck in the basement. So let's go over here. And then I'll turn it around for you guys so you can see that in its splendor. Get here on the edge. There we go. And now you can see the back deck. There's the upper deck. So what I'll do is I'll do the same things I did on the roof. I'll put my railing out here. Originally I was going to put it, you know, just go right in there and put it, you know, in between each one of the columns. But... I kind of like having it back here so that you can actually walk out to the edge of it. So we'll do the same. I have enough steel for that because that's originally, I estimated enough steel to go out here. But then I saw the columns and I was like, well, maybe we put it back here. But then I'm like, well, then that kind of makes our deck smaller there. And then what happens afterward? Does it come back out and then go this way? So ultimately, we're just going to have a straight run here. So originally I was going to put soffit material and I didn't know what kind, but now that I see this, I kind of like it. And I'm thinking maybe I just paint it black, uh, paint the columns black, paint all this black. And so maybe we start with a black paint on it. And if we don't like it, I'll can put soffit material in it. Um, I'll have some lights that'll be, that'll be down right now. It'll be more that industrial where it's the light with the, with the cover that has the metal cover that um, I think would look really cool. But if not, I'll change it and we'll put can lights in. But for right now, I think there's something about this that I really like. It's kind of an industrial modern that I'm really look going for. 
And I think if I box this out and and uh, put the soffit, it's just going to look more suburban, more like you didn't, you don't really know that it's uh, it's all steel and concrete. So I kind of like to leave it exposed, but we'll see. The biggest thing is is that we have siding coming up, and so for that part, it is going to vastly change what this house is going to look like. And um, I think that's going to be about it. So you guys make sure and like and subscribe. The, uh, the house is really looking good. And stay tuned. So the concrete now is officially done. Except for the driveway. I don't know what to do with that. But um, David is gone. His work is finished up. We have some punch list items that they need to finish up before the siding goes on. But for the most part, we're done with concrete. So now... How do you put siding on an ICF, right? How do you attach all the um, HVAC? How do you do your electrical on it, right? So these are all things that are coming up. So you guys stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.